beautiful. So facing, we're putting the facing on now. I tried to save a little weight and money with this floor. The downside to that is it's so thin that when we step on it, it kind of like whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, good thing this van's tall for how much shit we've done underneath it. These aren't screwed, and yet these are going to be the stringers. I'm this faucet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the flooring is in. Back in 2019, we spent the year building out our schoolie. After the build was done, we sold our house and traveled for a full year. Following that year of travel, we started to crave building again and getting something 4x4. Four four. on the facing part and it's very satisfying doing this because it comes together very fast. So I have to be careful not to split the wood when I whop it in. So facing, we're putting the facing on now. That's what this is called as far I'm, as I'm aware. Anyways, how we're attaching this to metal is I go ahead and take a bigger drill bit as a countersink and I drill in about a quarter inch and then I'll follow it through with this. I believe this is an eighth inch drill bit. We're working with hickory here, which is awesome wood. I like hickory as far as cabinets go because it is very hard wood. It's hard to scratch. It's, hard, it's not terribly hard to work with though, which is nice. So basically I put the piece up and I clamp at the top, the bottom and the center because sometimes the you know wood's not straight. So when I clamp at the bottom and the top, a lot of times it'll be kind of bowed out compared to the metal. And what I'm concerned with is the look of it. So I'll kind of flex it back and then clamp it down. Drill bit. Okay, now we grab our other drill bit. And I'm just gonna go in the center. And because I have the clamps, I don't have to worry about it moving around on me. Oh, I like impacts especially just having a different one so that we don't have to change the bit out. So I gotta go get some more screws. But that's pretty much how we're doing all of this facing inside the van. Once we're done with everything, we're actually gonna take all this facing back out, sand it down, make it all nice, and then paint all of the metal in here. We'll put some glue down, probably some construction adhesive on the inside or where all of the facing touches and then screw it back in. And the main reason for that is just to uh, stop any squeaking or noise is between the wood and the metal. I tried to save a little weight and money with this floor. So I got some thin material. I think it's like 16 gauge uh, because we did replace this floor. Downside to that is it's so thin that when we step on it, it kind of like whoop, whoop, whoop. I added some ribs to it out of just half inch angle thinking that'll stiffen it up. But from the distance, the half inch just bent with the floor. So the Toyota came with a headache rack and I actually took the piece off of it, like cut off the metal from the headache rack. And then it was one inch by three inch square or rectangle. And then I cut it or I ripped it down in half. So now it's three eighths and three eighths C channel. Metal is really expensive right now. So I'm just trying to save a little money. So now we're taking the C channel here, stiffening up the floor, I guess. Ollie's gonna go underneath and just use her feet push up to get the floor flat and then I'll weld it a bit, like tack it and then weld it once her feet are moved. And that's basically what we're doing. We're doing this in two different places, basically in the main walkway just to stiffen up the floor. You know, what? good thing this van's tall for how much shit we've done underneath it. I know, right? Okay, uh, lower it, and you're gonna move like four inches to uh, the back of the van. Okay, there's a cross member right there, is that fine? Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Vance painted the floor today, because we want to put in the actual subfloor, but apparently it's not supposed to dry for 24 hours and he only has a tiny fan on it, so 
Hopefully this one speeds up the process a little bit. Uh, and he didn't like paint paint the floor, it's flex seal so it's like a waterproof in case water somehow gets under, we should have a rust issue again. All right, we're on the next step in the van build and this is a very exciting part for me in particular because I just feel like we're finally getting somewhere. We need to make a stop for this door. Oh. So very exciting part. Um, we're starting to add some sound deadening. I'm gonna start at the base of the stairs and then work my way up because this isn't tacky, but the uh, like silicone, if you've ever felt dry silicone, like it's very rubbery. Oh, look, maybe I shouldn't do that. It should be a clean surface. I'll blow it off and then we're basically just gonna, this is kill mat and this is actually like a millimeter thick. It's uh, pretty much the thinnest stuff they have. We want the sound deadening, but we don't want to add much height. In a van, you very quickly get sh everything gets short and small. We should show them how tall you are in there compared to me. Cause like for me, it wouldn't be the worrisome, but for you it's... Yeah, for Allie, it's not a big deal. Cause how tall are you? Five four. So yeah, you, he you only have like four inches right now, of like headroom. Yeah, and so the goal is an inch on the floor, an inch on the ceiling, which will give me two inches of headroom. This is a pretty sweet backdrop I got going on here. Um, this will have a door on it where we we're just trying to decide what how we want this door to be because we want to have like a blockage here for the dogs so we we're trying to decide if this will be a slider but i think we came up with an idea to make a panel here that swings over all right so i got a marker a square and some scissors we'll see how well the scissors cut through i think we might end up going with a, a razor blade but we'll see oh, it cuts pretty good so let me show you why we're sound deadening so for instance I'm gonna knock on the unsound detonant metal. And now the sound detonant. It's a good difference. Um, especially with these doors, we sound detonant the back of these doors. Ting, 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 ting. Do you think that bug got caught in the spider web and it's screaming for its life right now? Maybe. Here's the cheapest way to plug holes is with a penny. So I like to take some silicone and literally a penny and I put silicone around the hole. Like there's a little hole here. I mean, welding it would be better, but I repainted it and all that. So I'll just silicone this right here. And then now we don't have an entryway for moisture. That darn cricket's annoying. There was a hole there and you can see the penny there covered in silicone. shiny these aren't screwed and yet these are going to be the stringers and then we're going to be screwing the step floor on top of that so we will be putting insulation in between the stringers and all that too i'm also putting sound deadening up top above the seats that way if anything's up here kind of rattling moving hopefully it'll be quieter plus you know these vans are pretty noisy especially in the front area so we want to do everything we can to make it less noisy Do the step last, I forgot to cut out any pieces. Hey, cutting the sub floor. So we use some polyurethane on this. Got it nice and polyurethane. I love the smell of polyurethane. Do you think if we have to, we get high, or do you think we could just smell it? Mm. Try it. Yeah. 
decided not to put the wood salt wood blade on, and I regret it. Probably should. I'm pretty sure I just did the subfloor that day because you <laughs> like do the subfloor, do the subfloor. So I just did it really fast. Well, I'm pretty sure you came up to me that day and you're like, I don't know what to do on the van. Like, and that's what you did the Why don't you do the subfloor? Nope. That's not how it works. That's probably exactly how nope, it works. Nope, it was you yelling at me constantly. Like, Look at all the storage we have. <laughs> I'm a land size storage. I'm this faucet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a camel spider? Mm-hmm. I think it is. <laughs> Bats. Do you want me to just grab this vessel? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, I think it's Jake. Take it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In here, if I'm holding it and I cut my finger again, nah. how stupid would I look? I don't know which way you want me to go. Well, I'm trying to go up because it's stuck on this. Okay, so, we'll so we need to kind of go back that way. Okay. Pie bar or something? Do you want to just use the bottom of this can? There's literally a pie bar right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Insulation coming in hot and then coming we'll put the floor on. Coming in cold depending on what we want. And we're just using this Gorilla spray glue just to adhere it down enough because the subfloor is going to be on top of all of this. Alright, the flooring is in. That's okay. how it's gonna look forever. Yep, this is our final flooring. Just kidding. Very contemporary. Uh, and it's stopped here because we're actually gonna have a platform that steps up in the drawer underneath. But this is nice. It's so much better to walk on. It feels good, babe. Right? Yeah, it doesn't slouch. The old floor in here slouched a lot. And it was just very bouncy and not very solid, but this is solid, which is perfect because we need that moving forward. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and if you want to see more, the best way to do that is to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified every time we post. And if you're wondering what it was like when Lance replaced the metal flooring, I will put the link to that video below so you can see the whole floor process in general, and we'll see you on the next one.